social circles for a modern day man. So the reason why I'm making this video is one of my subscribers requested that I, you know, if I could make a video on this topic and, um, you know, just to help men who are feeling lonely, you know, on their self-improvement journey, feel more of a sense of a belonging, right? And what I would suggest is this, right? From my experience and, you know, if you're someone that's anywhere around the world watching this, right? When you're trying to self-improve and you're trying to better your life, okay? It can feel quite lonely, right? You can feel like you're alone, um, you know, because there's so many people out there that you can destroy your life with, right? <laughs> there's so many people that want to drink. There's so many people that want to do drugs with you. There's so many people that want to party with you. That that will never end, right? There's always those people around. They're, they're, there's never a shortage of that. But when you're trying to do well, as I say, when 90% of the population want to just destroy their lives and you want to be that 10% where you want to be great, it takes certain social circles, I guess, to, you know, bond with someone else who has like-minded habits as you, you could say, right? Like-minded habits. And I'll tell you one thing, bro, when you come across someone that is on self-improvement, that's actually got good habits, that's a genuine person, bro, wow, it just feels like a brother, like almost like, where have you been all my life, bro? Like you just seem to quit because this person will push you. This person will properly have your back. This person will answer your phone calls when you need. This person will give you advice when you're feeling at your lowest. It's almost like, it just, it's almost too good to be true, bro, when you meet these sort of people. And I've met plenty of them, bro. And trust me, man, it's so rewarding having friends like this that are actually genuinely got your best interests at heart. It's such an amazing feeling, bro. And let me tell you what you can do, right? To be a part of these social circles, to meet like-minded individuals, it's not going to happen at the nightclub. It's not going to happen at the bar. It's not going to happen at the coffee shop, all right? I'll tell you where it's going to happen. You need to put yourself out there as a man and do something challenging, right? As I say, men come together through tough times, through challenges. And what you must do is you must join a social group. So what you could do is, if you're someone a bit lonely right now and you're you're on your self-improvement, on your grind, um, look, I've met plenty of guys, like I've met like-minded individuals in the gym, okay? In the, in actually the gym, bro, like I've met individuals. And when you train for a while in the gym, you tend to see, you know, same faces, you give that person a nod, you know, they're training. When they see you training as well, they're like, okay, he puts in effort. Like, it's, it's just something you, you know, bro. When you know, you know, right? You know he's all about it. Like, you can just tell and you give him a nod, you know, and they can just see self-discipline written on your face. Like, it doesn't matter if he's bigger than you, you're bigger. It doesn't matter, bro. It's, it's all about you being there and you, you're putting in work while everyone else is choosing to do the bad things on a Saturday morning, like on a, on a Friday night, you're there Saturday morning in the gym, you're training, you see that same person. Eventually you end up just making friends, bro. You just give each other a nod, you start talking. That's one place where you can meet friends, like in the gym, right? Like I've, I've met a few guys like that and you know, form like we're still friends to this day. The gym is somewhere you can do that. Now, when I was doing my Muay Thai, okay? I was doing Muay Thai, like kickboxing, I met like-minded individuals there, right? Like I met really, really cool guys in, so I was gonna say a fight gym is somewhere where you can really meet someone, like you can meet some cool guys, bro. Trust me, fight gyms have got a bunch of good, good self-disciplined men in there, bro. Boys, men, whatever, boys transitioning to men. If you join a fight gym, it's purely going to bring you closer with other men, bro, because it's a combat sport you end up just forming a, a tight brotherhood, bro. And no one's in there. You might think, oh, it's a fight gym, it's intimidating. No, bro, people actually really welcoming when you're new, even if you don't know the skill, the art, the craft. They give you respect for actually being in there and giving it a go, bro. So like, I met some really cool guys in, in the Muay Thai fight gyms. Um, yeah, man, like it's, they're awesome guys, bro. Really, really cool guys, really down to earth, bro. Um, 
you know, I remember like Saturday mornings when training would be on Sunday mornings, like these guys will be there fresh, no, no partying the night before, right? And we just like, like you end up just forming friends and a fight gym is a very, very good place to start, bro. I would say that's even better than the gym itself. If you go join a fight gym and you, you will trust me, you will make some, some close tight knit connections through there. And these are like, you know, these are brothers that you, you know, have for the rest of your life bro you know so if you, as long as you maintain the friendship gym's also another one you can definitely meet you know like-minded brothers fight gyms are, are really good if you're into i guess hiking or trekking uh be a part of like some hiking groups there are hiking groups you can be a part of um you know sports something your forte joining like a soccer team or a soccer club obviously you're going to be part of a team when you're part of a team you're going to form form connection with your teammates because you're a team you can maybe do like crossfit sort of uh, boot camps that's another way you can you know enhance your social circle but I would say yeah look men need to do physically active things in order to form tighter bonds with with other men it's just that way it is bro you're not going to meet a man at a shopping center like look we're not designed that way bro this is how we're hardwired okay and men do well through tough times okay so you will meet more like-minded individuals when you're going through challenges or putting your body through challenges that's where men bond that's where we come together bro right and that's where we release dopamine together and we feel good bro trust me like i can't tell you enough like how much like you know strong solid friendships i've, I've made over the years through like physical contact sports fitness itself you know like yeah, bro i'm telling you now this is the best way you can build or enhance your social circle as a man right so look they're my my suggestions for you okay they're the ones that i would suggest okay there might be a couple or more that i might not have suggested on the list but look bro we don't want to be picking and choosing like 50 things that you can do like i'm literally telling you the ones that you would actually release the most you know endorphins together with a man um ones where you can like you know you come together you build a really strong bond at the end of it these are ones that work bro don't be scared like even enrolling yourself in a fight gym don't be scared right there's eventually like the people that were in that are in there that are good were eventually like you at one stage where they walked in with zero skills bro right but they had the courage to stick it out and they didn't give up right and i want you to do the same and just tell yourself this after 90 days of joining a fight gym even the gym itself you will get better you'll start seeing the same faces you will start maintaining friendships right and i suggest to put yourself out there right don't be someone waiting for people to approach you right i always have this approach when i go like somewhere and i see someone that's you know like that i look at and I'm like wow this this guy's got self-discipline written all over his face you know seems like someone that i want to get to know um i just initiate share the conversation hey bro how's it going or, or hey brother how's it going or you know man you look crazy bro like just i always i never hate bro don't ever hate always you know be someone to initiate a conversation bro especially if you want to build your social circle don't be so shy like this is where society has kept you soft you need to get out of your shell and approach people and to do that you need to put in work, do what's challenging, start to transform your physique, start to... When you transform your physique, you start building more confidence, right? When you build more confidence and self-love, you build the, you end up sort of building the courage to talk to other like-minded individuals, bro. It doesn't matter if you're at this position in the race and that person's at that position in the race. It doesn't matter, bro. At the end of the day, when you're doing the same sort of hobby or craft, People respect you, it doesn't matter, bro. Even when I'm at the gym and I've got a young kid coming up to me going, bro, you look shredded, like how can I get like you, you know? I don't mind sitting there t talking 10 minutes with the kid, bro, like I, I love it. Like I, I wanna help people, bro. And even though I see that kid as like someone who starts off very skinny and small, I don't judge, bro, because I see this kid on a Saturday morning training, he's there, he's putting in work. And I know, bro, like eventually it's gonna, he's gonna get to a stage where he's going to inspire his younger generation bro right so i look at this kid and go wow like 
you're, you've got, and I, like, I actually love like maintaining friendships with people like that. It doesn't matter, bro. I don't just maintain friendships with people that are just in the same like physical stature as me, bro. I like even people that I don't know, but I see this person is consistently trying. Then yeah, bro, I'm proud. Like I'm happy to have a conversation. I'm happy to give advice. Like I'm happy to give them my time, bro. And I'm someone that doesn't really like to talk too long in the gym. But when it comes to helping someone that's less fortunate than me, then I love doing that, bro. I, I, like it just does something for me. So, anyway, going back to the topic. Look, those are the social circles that you can be a part of. Um, as a man, I suggest to get onto it sooner rather than later. And um, yeah, I wish you luck on that journey. But um, I'm going to end the video here. Have a beautiful day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.